Have you ever wondered what the square root of minus 1 really means? Well, this section here is for you. This is Dr. Fizz, and we're going to use group theory to uncover the mystery of the imaginary number. And this is patterned after an article, Marching Orders, from an article in Quantum that was published in 1991. We're going to consider a group with four elements. The first element in this group, which I'm going to call the military group, is attention. The second element is bout face. The next is left face. And the next one is right face. And we are going to look at a binary operation that it will simply be doing one order after the next order. So let's look at these more carefully. Attention, maintain the direction you are facing. Bout face, B, turn around, 180 degrees. Left face, L, turn to face left, a 90 degree rotation to the left. R, right face, turn face right, a 90 degree rotation to your right. And the binary operation, simply one applied after the other. So we find the, what's called the multiplication table. And the multiplication table here, if we say attention times attention, or you know, multiplied by attention, we use the word multiplication, but it's really the binary operation A with the binary operation A. And if we do that, it's still A, it's attention. If you do attention and attention again, it's attention. Suppose you do attention and then bout face. Well, you turned around, you're bout face. Suppose you do attention and then left face. Well, you're left face. You can see that attention is your identity element. And when you do that with another activity operation, with another element, then it's that second element that's going to be the one that's equivalent to or you can do it in the other order if you like. So here, let's consider taking bout face, turn around, and then doing a left face. That's like doing a right face. Think about that. In fact, you can stand up and do it. Do a bout face, turn around, and then do a left face. So B times L, and I bet you can do that in one step from the beginning by doing a right face. So you should fill out this multiplication table as an assignment to work out this in detail and you'll see that all of the pairs here when you do the combinations they're in the group so you have closure and you can check out association with a few to show that that works and there's an identity element that's the attention and there's an inverse for all the elements uh, the inverse of the operation with its with uh, the original operation remember gives you the identity. So if you do, uh, for example, right face and then you do left face, you come back again. All right. So that's like the inverse. In other words, you uh, you undo the right face by doing left face. So you can you can see that that gives you the identity, which is like attention. In other words, you didn't do anything. So that's what attention is. Just stay doing what you're where you are. So you have your identity element, you have your inverses, everything, you have the definition of a group. Okay, now you consider this group of elements, 1, minus 1, i, and minus i, where, you know, this is the imaginary number, square root of minus 1, with the binary operation being multiplication. And if you do that, you miraculously find the same multiplication table and a one-to-one -one correspondence with the various elements in each group. Now when this happens, uh, there's a one-to-one -one correspondence and the multiplication table is the same. We say the two groups are isomorphic. We have an isomorphism. All right, Isomorphism. That means the groups are equivalent. So what I'm going to ask you to do here as a little exercise to work out, convince yourself that there is an isomorphism here where, for example, one is like attention, one times anything doesn't change it, minus one is like bout face, you multiply one by minus one, you come over here, and therefore I must be left face, since I times I is an about face, all right, and minus I must be right face. 
And you may say, well, well, I, well, oh yeah, I heard about the complex plane. I, I heard you could do that. That's what they do. They put the imaginary numbers here. They put the real numbers here. Oh, but no, no, no. You understand this completely because everyone understands the military group. You can teach that uh, to a third grader. In other words, you could teach a third grader to do an about face, to do the attention, right face, left face, and third grader could work out you know, the location table. Well, since there's an isomorphism, that means if you understand one group completely, which you do, the military group, you must understand the other group completely, which means you are forced to admit that the eye must be a literal rotation of 90 degrees here toward the north or to the left and the minus i must be multiplied by minus i must literally mean a rotation this way so if you multiply by i by i again by i again by i again you go around like this and some of those uh, nice sat questions for example that blows students away like what's i to the hundredth power well if uh, you multiply by i you simply do a counterclockwise 90 degree well then if you do four of them you're back to where you start so 100 that's uh, a multiple right, a four right so that has to be one so you can do some of these uh, complicated uh, questions that you see in some like SAT questions uh, very very easily and uh, thinking of the rotation so anyway uh, the conclusion is here that I the square root of minus one is a literal rotation of 90 degrees to the left and that's the mean of that imaginary number it means to rotate out of your real number line rotate out of the real number line 90 degrees so that you're in a new realm which of course we know as the imaginary axis